Hey, what's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. So, we're continuing our Ultimate Glock 42 series here. Now, what a lot of people might have knocks on would be the magazine capacity as well as 380. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll cover the 380 here uh, in the later part of the series here. What I do want to talk about is the magazine capacity in the Glock 42. So, we're looking at a 6 plus 1 handgun. So, uh, I think for the size of, the, of this firearm, I think that's pretty good. But... No one has ever said, hey, I wish I had less bullets. So what we're going to be doing today is we're looking at the Ghost Ink Plus 2 extension for your Glock 42 magazine. So let's get to it. All right, everybody. So let's jump into this here. So when you order the Ghost Ink, it's called the Mini MED, Magazine Extension Device. So when you order it, you're going to be getting two pieces. So you're going to be getting the actual extension device and then a chrome sil silicon magazine spring. Now, what they don't mention on their website is what this is made out of. It's actually polymer. So from the picture, I couldn't quite tell if it was like aluminum and it was anodized or if it was polymer. So this matches your Glock magazine. So some people might not like that. I think it's a positive. It keeps it lightweight. It also keeps it the same, uh, it, you know, expanding or contracting uh, material as your magazine. So I think that's a, a, a real positive there of, you know, you don't want two different um, two different types of materials heating up and cooling at the same time and that could cause potential issues so keeps it lightweight um, and, and it matches the same uh, as the magazine which of course you know is important how it looks so but when you order it you're gonna get these two pieces now this is also cost $19.95 so you um, you're paying a little bit for two additional rounds in your magazine but I think it's worth it. Now, I will point out, I have put some rounds through it, not enough to where I want to do it as reviewed to say it's 100% reliable. I just want to get that out in the clear. It has worked very well for me. It hasn't had an issue, but I would not say it's an add enough rounds to where I will say, yes, this is good to go for a concealed carry. So, let's get into the installation here. So, all right, guys, so let's jump into the install here. Again, it's going to be really simple. We're just adding a piece, replacing the spring using our existing part. So, we'll grab the follower here. We're going to grab the spring. Now, this can be a little clunky because Going in, it wants to cockeye itself, or not stay in. But what it'll do is want to cockeye itself like that. Right there, you can see that. So you get it in best you can, because what happens is when we get it in the actual magazine here, just pushing it in, the pressure will put the spring in correctly. So let's go ahead and get that in here. See the follower is on there. So what we're going to be doing now would be putting on the extension. So basically, it just slides on here, which is pretty simple. So what we'll do is take the top part right there. Again, curved, so you're going to slide over the curved part first. All right, I'm trying to get this for you guys here. Again, holding down the spring and just sliding it over. It's a little hard to do when you're trying to do it on camera with the correct camera angle. Now, you'll see right there, there's these two uh, step outs right there to go over. And again, hold your spring, and that'll snap into place. So, next part, pretty simple. We'll be putting this part on here, the base. I, I can't remember the name of it for some reason. So, we'll fit it on there just like that. And then, of course, we'll be sliding on our original base plate right there. And there we go. So now, we went from our six rounds to our eight rounds. So for size comparison of the extension, you can see that right there. So if you if you have a pinky one, you might as well pick this one up and you know basically just about the same, just plus the base pad there, and you get two more rounds for concealed carry. So not a whole lot of difference there. I can tell you this gun still still does not print for me. It's just still so small. So there it is, and we'll load up eight rounds into it. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there we go. So now we just took our Glock 42 right here from six plus one rounds to eight plus one rounds definitely uh, a little bit better there so 
you know, if you want, you could you could carry the the flat version, so just the base plate version, and then you could carry this one as a spare. I'd honestly say the size difference is so different, so so minimal. Carry two of these guys, you know, and then you're rocking, you know, nine plus eight more rounds. You're rocking 17 rounds in two mags. Definitely not too bad. So there it is, guys. We have the Ghost Plus Two MED magazine extension device to taking us from a six plus one to an eight plus one in our Glock 42. So there's another part in our ultimate building the ultimate Glock 42 series. So I hope you guys enjoy this and stay tuned for more videos here on Practically Tactical. Take care.